what's going on everybody this is al from playbookgamer.com and in the last dynasty video we went through our preseason shenanigans for season five we went through all of our little recruiting red shirting we created our schedule and now we are ready to kick off the season by taking on the cal golden bears they're 15th in the country we are seventh this should be a pretty good game there's similar talent among both teams and i'm not going to show you the team info pages because there's nothing to see because neither team has played a game yet but what i can tell you is cal they run a basic pro style offense and a 4-3 defense now before we get into this game we can look at a couple of things first of all we are currently in week two but there were a few games played in week one florida state beat georgia lsu beat army and then arizona beat navy in season recruiting we took care of all of this at the end of the last video we are going after three guys five star halfback adam hawkins josh wilson the corner out of texas and john cooper a uh, strong safety out of oregon i'm gonna do pretty much the same thing i've done last in season recruiting and that is just go after like three guys and that's it and that's mainly because we don't have a whole lot of spots to fill again heading to the off season to fill out our roster for next season sports illustrated there's really nothing to see because nobody really played one thing i do want to show you is i want to go to playbooks and i've switched things up just a little bit i've replaced ace big tight end wide receiver with ace big twins i'm going to use them very similarly but i'm going to just do a couple different things there mainly it's going to be for goal line though ace normal stays in of course we got ace spread and ace four wide receiver trips i have added gun ace twins i'm adding a little more power shoot to the offense we've done a little bit of that last season mainly out of ace normal but i'm going to add in ace twins because there's a couple decent plays that really fit what we like to do schematically other than that the rest stays the same gun normal bunch gun spread and gun trips i took out gun five wide towards the end of last season i wasn't using it that often so i took it out and i'm thinking we will probably use ace twins a little bit more often than we did with gun five wide and we will look at formations of subs once we get into the game audibles i can show you what i've done here now the audibles that i ran last season were pretty simple i pretty much only ran two audibles halfback dive at an ace spread and halfback dive out of ace wide receiver trips so what i've also added was some gun uh, runs gun spread speed option i added that because our starting quarterback troy petty could run a little bit i don't know when i'll use this i may sprinkle it in by as a default play call as opposed to an audible but it's in there and then we got weak off tackle at a gun spread i wanted just a basic handoff run that way we don't have to go under center every single time we call an audible and then we got qb choice out of gun trips i wanted something out of that formation as well and again we'll just see how often i'll use these it'll just depend on you know how light the box is from the defense but i think those are very simple but good changes to the audibles that is it i think we are ready to go into the game we will simulate this hopefully we don't have anybody in trouble out of the gate and we do not okay it looks like we're gonna have some good weather for our first game of the season that's a good blue tones right there on the suit kicking off the season with a home game yes perfect weather been a while since i've played kale i think i maybe played him a couple seasons ago i just don't remember i wanted to play a really good peg 10 team though number seven in the country hopefully we'll go up on that after we beat cal today hopefully we can who are they going to highlight big ben jasmine i think he's going to be a, just a monster for us on the edge him and neil as well and they are picking us the win so let's go to the coin toss we won the toss i want the ball start of second half i love cal's uniforms the blue the yellow it just looks really solid let's check out our formation subs we've already took care of our depth chart in the last video we are solid there but i want to go to formation subs since we switched around some things what i'm going to do is first of all let's go to depth chart and what i need to change here and i just forgot to do that is i need to put grant right here 
We'll put Grant at number one, and then we're going to put, if I can get to the other tight ends, we'll put Fletcher, and then the third tight end, McCoy. I just forgot to put him there. I'll do that outside of the game. So we're going to go back to formation subs. And I like what I see here. I want to make sure Davis and Rackley are my number one and my number two for this formation. The same here. Grant is on the left side. Then you got Rankley on the far right. You got Davis on the far left. All that looks good there. Now, what I want to do is if you go back to our depth chart, look at our halfback situation. Larson is going to be our gun halfback. And then you got Scruggs and Cox. And Scruggs and Cox look pretty much identical. But one can carry the ball just a little bit better. I mean, they're pretty much identical for the most part. But what I can do is go back to formation subs. I'm going to put Scruggs right there. For here, I don't mind putting Cox. Every now and then, I may give him a run or two out of this formation. But we'll just see what we're going to do there. I want Scruggs here and Scruggs there. So I like what I'm seeing there. Then you go Gun Ace Twins. I want everybody where they're at here. I want Grant at my number one tight end spot. And we are going to put Larson right here in the gun. The same here. All of that looks fine. Right here, I don't mind putting Tyree Glover, the true freshman, right there due to his speed. And we got Larson back there again. We got Larson in the gun as well. And we got Larson there. So I think we're all good on offense. I like what I'm seeing there. And we can adjust in time throughout the season. Let's go to defense. The only thing I need to just make sure of are my linebackers to make sure they are all square, Illumimian, Doherty, all that looks fine. The biggest one is at nickel. Doherty's going to be my starter at middle linebacker, and Lafue, yes, that's what we want. So I'm liking every bit of that right there. You're not going to see me run any dime this year. We don't have the corners for it. And I think that is it for our end. So let's go to the depth chart, and let's check out how and how good they are so they're starting quarterback 88 overall looks like he's a pocket passer he can't run the ball so we're going to blitz this guy quite a bit today if we can throwing power of a 95 throwing actually 87 just a really talented quarterback impact running back so we're going to probably try to stop him today as best we can trent robinson 92 overall 87 speed he's a big guy he'll be tough to bring down i'm sure he's going to break a handful of tackles today for sure Fullback, they got some solid fullbacks. We don't know if they're going to get them the ball any today, but they got some talent there. Wide receiver, bit of a downfall for them here. I mean, they got some talent, but it's just 82 and 78 and 76 and 74. I mean, we got better players at wide receiver than they do. So that's good to see. Now, look at this tight end. Cameron Moore, 6'6", 246, 82 speed. And he can catch. That kid is just an ideal-looking tight end. And they got a backup of an 80, 76 behind him. So they got some, look at this true freshman. 6'8", 227, future big-time tight end for them. Look at their offensive line. 93, 80, 96 at center. Would love to have that guy. 95 at right guard and 94 at right tackle. I mean, that's a, as about as good as an offensive line I've seen in a while. Like their one weakness is at left guard at 80. Whew, that's tough. Look at that right side of the line. 96, 95, and 94. If we can get some pressure on that guy against that offensive line, then we're going to have a really good season. Let's look at their defense. They run a 4-3. They got an 88 on one end and 91 on the other. So really talented edge rushers. Defensive tackles, 88, 84, 80. So their front four is pretty solid. Outside linebacker at 90. He's an impact player. Middle linebacker, 87. Right outside linebacker, 84. Just a lot of talent on the field today between both teams. Corner, 84, 80, 74. We're going to spread them out quite a bit today. So hopefully we'll see some of these guys play some. We'd love to have a couple of these on our team, though, because we were a little weak at corner. Free safety. We have a chance to exploit this. Looks like they got a starting or true freshman going to start today. 84 speed, just a 76 overall. Strong safety, 90 overall. So Grant is going to go up against that guy some, but he's not an impact guy at least, but he's a first-team All-American. So we got two of the best strong safeties in the country playing today. Awful kicker, average punter. That's actually a really good punter for a true freshman. So good for them. And we can look at the kickoff. I'm sure they got plenty of talented guys doing that. Okay, yes. So let's go ahead and get this show on the road. They don't have any impact guys back there, so I'm going to kick this straight and they'll be returning this one 
Let's have a good solid game today. That would be great. The good stop there. Now I'm gonna play a lot of two man high because of their impact running back. We're gonna do something like this, perhaps. I'm predicting an interception by this kid today. That's a good stop there. He picks up a couple. They're going with a two wide receiver set. We'll go two man under at a 4 3. We're going to do something like this. Try to control the edge. He's got all day to throw. Wide open, too. Don't know what happened there. He just got. Somebody didn't pick him up. Oliver. Goofed up on that one, or somebody did. I'm going to go back and look. That may be a play I need to look at later. Let's look at that. So they are going out of Ace Big Twins. We got this formation. Oh, I know what it is. This is the play where this tight end could get wide open, and that's what happened. The safety, somebody's supposed to defend him. I'm pretty sure it was this linebacker right here, and he didn't, or is that Jasmine? No, that's the few. That was on the few. Interesting. That's a good play call. I need to call that more. I need to call that some this year. As long as I don't forget it. Well, we can leave it like this. It's fine. I just got trucked. He picks up four yards there. Three yards. I'm going to stay in two at man under. If we can get him in a third and long, that would be great. We're going to do something like this. I may need to... Okay, it's not going to matter. So it's third and what, four? Third and three. I'm going to stay in two man under. Just call the same thing. If I was them, I would just hand the ball off. I'm going to leave it as is, though, because it's kind of a balanced set for them with the fullback and the tight end. Oh, look at that play. Oh, great. It took two hits, but we got him down. Now, what we can do, it's fourth and two on the 44. I think they're going to punt it. Ooh, they're not going to. They're going to go with the big set. Uh, we'll go 4-4. Four, four. We got the bodies for that. Hope for the best here. They're going to pass. Oh, my gosh. That was hell. That was so my fault. I should have let the AI handle that. That was completely my fault. Don't dive unless you have to on those plays. And I did. So they're back at it. And he get found a gap. Going to get eight yards on that one. Got nine on it. So I think this is what they're going to do all day. Hand the ball off, hand the ball off, then maybe play action. They're going back to the same formation. Ooh, sack. Somebody came through. Don't know who. Big Jasmine. That's his first tackle on the day, and it's a sack technically. So it's third and six. That was a huge play. He must have came through. Third and six. We'll go cloud. Again, we're weak at nickel, but at least he's fast. Now, can I get around this tackle? We're about to find out. Or they could just run the ball. I was not expecting that. Dang it. I just, I, third and six, and they decide to run it. So we'll go back to two-man high. Normally, I'd go nickel here. But my best 11 is the 4-3. That's just a good throw. And I just... Uh, I have no words for that. Just for whatever reason, my defenders decided not to do anything on that play. That's one of the few areas of concern when you're running a 4-3. Or when you're running man defense. You're going to get roasted by man beaters. So we had a couple chances to get a stop there, but we did. So we'll see if we can try to do that later on. Otherwise, it was a pretty easy trip for them down the field. They took up well over half the quarter. So we're going to get on offense for the first time. That's right down the middle of the field. I'm going to let that one go. 
We're in the middle of the field, so I think I'll go straight to deep cross up. Might as well. They're going zone. Dumb. Impact line or defensive end. I think he's, yeah, he's a deep linebacker. Go over here. Good throw by the freshman to the freshman. So first play of the season, freshman the freshman. We can go. Tight end streaks. They're going man, but they got an impact linebacker on Grant. Now I can. That's a bad matchup for us. So I'm gonna do something like something like this, maybe. We can go to rank if they go cover zero. We're gonna go cover one. That was risky. They had good coverage there, but we got the yards we needed. Second and four. Now, what we can do, we can go straight to, like, speed option. We're going zone dime. What I may want to do is we'll leave it as is. I didn't get the first. That's good defense. Third and one. I can go back to deep cross up, and they're going man. We can try this. Get a first down to Grant. Good play there. Just to get a little easy out route to him. Where are we? We're on the right hash. It's first and 10. We're going to go back to one of our bread and butter plays. Curl Reed out of ace four wide receiver trips. They're going zone. So I'm going to do something like this. Looks like it'll probably go to Glover. True freshman. Looks like he's fitting in the offense right off the gate. Out of the gate. Let's go. It is. We're on the 11 yard line. Let's go. Halfback out. They're going man dime. Let's see if we can go to our impact guy, Davis. Ah, not the best throw, but we got close to the end zone. Now, we can keep this simple. I mean, we need to win ball games here. So, what we can do is just go to slam and let's just get the touchdown. I'm not going to try to force stats on players. Let's see if we can get in the end zone here. There we go. All right. That's a good start on offense. We got to get back on defense and see if we can stop them. We had a couple of chances. But otherwise, that was a good little drive out of the gate. We had some freshmen get some some stats up of course troy petty done his thing glover looked very natural and comfortable in the slot and just about everybody got to touch the ball in that drive too but let's get back on defense and see if we can figure out how to stop this bunch this should be a really good kick this may be a touchback yep it's gonna be a touchback I'm going to go back to two-man high, just try to keep everything in front of us. We're taking a chance by leaving a bit of a room open on the right. That's a good stop, though. It's a solid three yards, but he's not getting huge chunk plays right now. I'm going to leave everything as is here. He's got room to row. Hey, there he goes. There he goes. First down. You just, you just sit there and you take it on those plays. <laughs> I have no choice. I feel like I got to stay in man. Just try to stop this run. Do something like this. Ah, dang it. I completely whiffed on it. Dang it. Just a good run right there. I had a chance to get a tackle back there and I didn't. So that's the end of the quarter. It's tied, but they are just doing whatever they want to on offense at the moment. Need to find a way to stop them. Otherwise, they're just going to run all day. There he goes again, and look at this. It just He's just going to get his yards. And now, I've been trying to just two-man under for the longest time, and I'll, I'll stick with it. I had some success being able to stop it with only a seven-man box as opposed to going eight but there may be a time where i may have to go eight because right now our current defense is getting whooped just another easy 
and that's a face mask. They didn't call it. I, when I'm, I'm going to take a chance on a zone blitz. We're going to do something a little different just to break it up because otherwise I think they feel like, okay, they're going two man under every play. So that's what we're going to try here. So let me try something different. They may run right up the gut here to get a first. Get him. It's a good open field tackle, but it's now, what, third and one? Third and two? We'll go two man under. They're going with an, an 11 personnel look. We need somebody needs to make a play up front. Oh my gosh, did you see that? He just stiffed on me like it was no tomorrow. Look at this. I just, I mean, nothing you can do about that play. So that's the downside of, you know, going up against an impact running back. They're just, he's just going to break his tackles. Just an easy run there. Got a couple. At this point, we can go with like Thunder Green. Really no point doing two man under at this point. Make good decisions. Somebody make a play. At least we forced him inside. And it is third and goal. I'm, mm, we'll go two man under again. If I was them, I would just hand the ball off. So this is why I'm calling this play. Woo, we'll take it. That's a good stop. Force a field goal. We'll go field goal safe, man, just in case they decide to fake it. I don't think they will. But that's a great stop right there. You can have all the field goals you want. Look at that. They took up another half of a quarter. This game's going to be pretty quick if they keep having drives like that. Let's see if Bass can do something on this kickoff return. Not a whole lot there. It is a spread. Let's go. Triangle. We're going man dime. We got some options here. We're going to have a couple different go routes just in case. We're going too high. A good catch by Davis. Not the best throw. But he's six for six. Our true freshman kicker or quarterback. Let's go here. And let's go with tunnel screen. They're going man and they're going Time. I wasn't expecting that. We could do something like this, I guess. That's intercepted. Ooh, very, <laughs> we got very lucky on that play. That's perfect defense against that play. We somehow got out of it. Let's go back to tight end streaks. We're going man 5-2. We're going to do something like this just to give Grant some space if needed. Cover with zero. Let's see if he can get underneath it. Nice. Great catch. By Grant. Great throw by Petty. I don't know if he got hit when he threw it, but it was a wobbly catch or wobbly throw. It is first and ten. What we can do is do something like we can sneak in an option play. They're going man nickel. Let's see who's on who. I can't tell who is on. Who is that? Somebody going to cover him? Maybe. Can't really tell. We'll go over here. We'll just get a first down. That's going to be a nightmare matchup for people. Uh, we're on the fives. Let's just. It's first and goal. Let's go screen. Let's see if we can get him a touchdown. We're going zone down, but I have everybody spread out as such. Let me just stick with this. And there is Glover's first touchdown, and that is Troy Petty's first touchdown. So that's a nice fitting way for them to get on the touchdown stat line for their careers. From one freshman 
to another. Okay, now let's get an extra point. Let's go up four. Cal has way more time than they need to go right down the field and score again. But since they're under two minutes, they may want to throw a little bit more now. We'll just see. We, we, what we probably can do is go quarters on this first play and see if they just run the ball, then we'll go back to our two-man under. Kick an extra kickoff. <laughs> an extra kickoff. That makes sense. Not the strongest kick. Let's see if we can get a stop. Good tackle there by somebody. They're going three, uh, three wide. Let's go quarters, and let's just see how they react. If they throw, then that means they're trying to get down the field and score. If not, then we may have to go back to two-man under. Go and play action. Oh, my gosh. I got just... I just wasn't expecting that. Good play by them, though. So they're doing that. Let's just go back to quarters. It sounds like they're going to throw some more. Play action. Oh, no. Somebody make up. Ah, he stopped. Oh, great. Oh, what a play by the... Oh, my gosh. What a play. But we're on the one-yard line. Oh, my gosh. What a play that was. Look, go back and look at this. What a play by Murphy. I would for sure thought this was a touchdown. Go back and look at this. So he stops. Murphy stops back there. Then he picks it up. I'm like, why did you stop? I'm like, okay, that's instant six points. But he makes an incredible play. He short-armed the throw. That helps. He tipped it to himself for an interception. The problem is we are on the one-yard line. So what do you call here? Uh, let me... Let me go a half back out. It's first and ten. They've got their backs. Ooh, dang it. Hawaii. Gotta be careful here. Looking, throws it to the outside. Just get out of the end zone a little bit. So it's a minute twenty seven. The clock is still going. I'm gonna go back here to tight end streaks. We're going man. We're gonna go to Rankley or to Davis. Going too high. Oh, make get a get a block right there. Go, Davis. Go, go, go. Oh, what a huge play by Davis. Wow, what a great play. Go back and look at this. I was somehow able to finagle an extra 30 yards off of this play. Just a great throw. Impact guy making a play right there. Then I had to just go back the other way. And a great block here by Grant. Getting one guy out of the way. And I think they still have us in bounds, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to go out in delay. No, we did go out of bounds. That's good. So it is man, and they're going. We're going to do something like this. We're going to go to Rackley. Because Grant is on. Grant's covered by the impact guy. Great throw to Rackley. That was our better matchup. The impact linebacker was on Grant, so we went to the other side. And what we can do is I'm going to go back here. And we're going to do safety tack. I'm going to flip it. Ooh, and he's double teamed again. So we'll probably leave this as is something like this. And dang it, we're going to have to throw this away. That's good defense all around. So we're on the 18 with 49 seconds to go. What we can do is let's think. Let's go triangle. Zone nickel. Good throw. Hit the first down. Ah, right, get over it. And he couldn't. Let's call a timeout. It's third and one. We're going to go backfield. And let's just go back here to Cruel Reed. Good. They're going man. So we're going to go to our number one wide receiver here, our impact guy. We just need a solid throw. And he drops it. I swear. He dropped it. Let's kick the field goal. I'm not going to, it's just, let's just get the points. That was on Davis. I could go for it, but I'm not going to. Let's just get the points and be done with it. And there we go. Well, that was a bit disappointing, but at least we got some points out of it. 
That should have been at least a first down. So now Cal has 37 seconds left. They're trying to do something. This is going to be another strong kick. This is going to go in the end zone. 36 seconds. I don't think they're going to try anything weird here. We're going to do a two high man. I think they will they will run the ball. Let's do something like this. Good tackle, Al. Good job by Neil. And we're going to let that clock roll. I'm perfectly fine with that. So we're going to just call the same play. And we're going to go to half. Ooh, didn't really need to do that. So we're kind of spread. I need to figure out. I know there's a button for it. To go back to the original play call. That way it sets up your line again. Instead of going spread like they are here. I rarely use it. Go and play action. No, he's open wide over here. Wow. Just ran me over. But that is the end of the half. Let's check out some stats. 17 to 10. We can look at some stats and scores. 252 yards in the first half. Offense is doing their job. We're not running the ball enough, but that's just our offense. We don't really have to. 13 of 15. Troy Petty's having a great start to his career. 236 yards through the air. Uh, we're 50% on third down. I'm perfectly fine with that. No turnovers, thankfully. They've had one. It was a big play, and we got out of it with some points. We could check out some individual stats. Petty, 13 of 15, 236. One touchdown, no interceptions. Receiving. Davis is doing well outside of the one drop right before half. Glover is having a great start to his career. Grant's doing his thing. Rackley has got some yards. So everybody's got to touch the ball, the main five guys. So everything looks to be on the up and up. We have the lead, and we can now see if we can stretch that lead with a good, clean drive here. This is going to go... Uh, let's, let's take it out. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I thought I had a little crease there. We are back on the right hash. Let's go triangle. They're going man and everybody and their brother's coming. Let's see who's coming down to do what. So the safety is on him. So we're going to do something like this instead. They're just putting all their best players on Grant today, which makes sense. Let's go to Rackley. We got the better matchup. Oh, he dropped it. A drop is a drop. Perfect throw. All right. We're going to try to go deep again here. They're going man. They're at least going to cover one. We'll go to somebody on the left. Cover zero again. Oh, man, I barely got it off. Oh, what in the world, people? You got to catch the ball. Nothing you can do about it. I mean, I could have took him over, but normally I prefer the AI to handle it. Normally they catch the ball, but sometimes they don't. So they're going man here. I think what I may try to do, I think I may run the ball with the quarterback. Let's see. Let's just get down. Let's do something like that. I don't have the slide thing. I have to check my, my controller settings on my emulator for that. But I thought that was a good idea just to run with the quarterback and pick up the first. So they're going man dime here. Now we've got a decent matchup with Grant. But we're going to leave it something like this. We'll go to Larson. Good tackle broke there by Larson. So we are still here. Let's go. Slot screen. They're going man. 4-3, and that safety's coming down. This is going to go to somebody on the left here. And a drop. I wasn't expecting the linebacker to be on him, though. So it's second and, or third and three on the 43. We may go curl read. We're going to do something like this, perhaps. What I may do is do something like this, just in case we got something over the middle. Get a first down to Glover. Who? just enough. What I want to try is, let's do a P read. We haven't called this in forever. 
We're going zone dime. What I may do is we could do something like this. Get decent yards with Larson. Let's do a, a run play. Let's go back to speed option because we got the bodies to do it. Ooh, they're doing that. Ooh, they're doing that. If we can get some blocking on the right, this would be great. Just keep it with Petty. Let him do his thing. Get a first down there. We are back on the right hash. I'm going to go back to Gun H Twins here in a little bit. That's more of a left hash play or formation for me. Let's go tight end streaks. We're going man again. So we're going to do something like this. This will go to Davis or Rankley. Cover one. Got some yards at least. Where are we? We are on the 25, second and four. Go deep cross up. They're going man. What I may try to do here is just run it with Petty. Let's just get out of bounds. Good little run there by Petty. When I'm seeing man, it's just so much easier to run against it than zone with the quarterback. Oh, we're on the 12. Let's go tight end delay. We're going man 4-3. Everybody, their brother is doing that. So what we're going to do is... Do something like this. Hopefully this will work. Can Larson? Ooh. Scary. So where are we? We're on it's second and one on the three. We can do a slot screen. We're going zone nickel. We're going to try to go over here to Grant and see if we can get the touchdown. Six points. Good deal. So that was a good drive. We had to convert a couple third downs to get there, but we did. The big guy got his first touchdown of the season. And now we are up two scores. Let's get an extra point. We'll get back on defense. That should go in. Yes. Accuracy wasn't the best, according to the meter. If we can get a stop here on defense, then we can really take care of some things here. But we got to do that first. And this is a bad kick all around. Not very strong, and it's going to one side. Thankfully, he spinned. I'm glad he didn't just continue to run. We'll go back to two man under. We'll do it at 4 3 because that's where our best guys are at. Let's do something like this. Good throw, man beater. There he goes. Wow. One play. That's all it took. 60 yards. Man beater, I'm here to tell you, that's the only downside of running this man against the trying to stop the run. You get plays like that. Another just a bad, goofy, I don't know what all that was. I probably should have took one of those guys over and dove at the guy. I don't know. Do something like this. Oh, almost had him. Almost intercepted. That's the other maybe positive is you could get a play like that. And maybe the defender might actually catch it next time. But more often than not, you're going to see what we saw earlier. Good job, Al. Neil making a play on the back end. So it's third and 11. This is what we've been looking for. A third and long. Let's see if we can get after this guy. We're going to try. Get a stop here. That would be great. Ah, oh, good defense all around. I can't get to the guy. Ooh, good defense by Moss. He was wide open, too. So it's fourth and 11 on the 31. They're going to go for it. We're going to just call the same thing. Maybe I can get to the quarterback a little bit quicker this time. Because he had all day to throw. We do something like this. Intercept that. Good defense, everybody. Great place. Now, here's where we're going to take a chance and really try to stretch this lead. So, we are on the left hash. We're going to keep this really simple. 
trying to think of some. It's been a while since I've called anything from this formation. Let's go back to tunnel screen. We're going man now. Grant is being defended by that guy. We're going to do something like this instead. We'll go. Maybe do something like this. We'll go to Larson. Just don't fumble it. Get about five yards there. We are back on the right hash. We can try. Second and five. Let's do halfback out. We're going man dime. What we can do is I could probably. We got a good man beater over here, so let's just use it. Good catch. Ooh, ooh. Huge play. Davis making plays out there. Imagine if he didn't have that drop from earlier. Good, just impact guy making a play. So we are on the left hash. I'm going to do P.E. Reed. We kind of have a guy who can do it a little bit. They're going man dime. What I may do is run the ball. We have the numbers for it. Just get a first down there. Left hash again. We can stay here and go curls. Man 4-3. Who's on who? Can't really tell. Ooh, I threw it off my back foot. Didn't really mean to do that. Just, I don't want him to fumble. So where are we? We are in second and three. Let's go back to curl read. Man dime. We got a really good man beater here. I'm going to use it. Now, I'd love to go to Grant over the top. I don't know if we're going to have enough room to do it. A fumble. I swear. Gee, God, Davis. Come on. That's two huge plays that he bungled on that one. A fumble and a drop. An imp he what? That guy's not even an impact guy, but just a fumble. Okay, we got to go back on and play some defense. Let's do that instead. Fullback dive up the gut. Oh, somebody make a tackle, somebody. Jeez, come on. That looked way too easy for that fullback. That was a big swing play right there. Just got unlucky on it. Let's come down on this one. Good job, Bale. Left tackle left me unblocked. Second and 11. I'm going to... I still think they may run it here, so we'll go two-man high. Do something like this. Good play by whoever that was. Doherty. Big play right there. So it's third and 14. We'll go Cloud. Now, they are on the 46. I would love to get a sack here, really get them out of the uh, option to go for it on fourth like they done last time. The key is kind of get around this really good right tackle. Oh, couldn't get to him. Ooh, out of bounds. Just enough. Just enough. So we are going to go with an all-out block just so nothing goofy happens on the back end here. We'll get out of the way. Hopefully, he just kicks it in the end zone, something like that. So that was crisis averted. Off of that fumble, we're able to get a stop. Just don't do anything goofy here. Just make the catch. There you go. Back on the right hash. Uh, I've thought about calling this play right here. We can do it. PA seam. This is what they called earlier. Had a big play on. So they're going man right here. If they went cover zero, this could get really nasty. But they're going cover one. Nope, that's intercepted. Ooh, very fortunate. I should not have thrown that. That was completely my fault. Bad play on my part. I should have just ran it. That was perfect defense across the board. So they're going man nickel here. Let me do something like this. I'd love to see him go cover zero. But they're going cover one. Slightly overthrew it, I guess. Third and ten. We'll try deep attack. We're going zone dime. 
Maybe do something like this. What a throw! What a throw from the freshman! Jeez, what a throw this was! They went cover three. I saw a huge gap over there, right where Grant made the cut. Look at that throw! Boom! Oh gosh, that was nasty looking. That is end of the quarter. So we're up two scores. If we can get a touchdown on this drive, I think we can really seal the deal. What I want to do is, let's do speed option. They're going, man, they're blitzing everybody. This is where I probably should have had a passing play. And I don't have one. We'll have to do something like this. What I need is a passing play. I don't think I have it. We can go back and look. So this is why you adjust things. I just completely forgot against certain situations. I probably need a pass play like right here. Where it's a simple, where it's a good man. We'll probably have to do slot seams would be a good one. We can just go with deep attack. I'll, I'll fix that at the outside of the video. Otherwise it won't stick if we do. Do that here. Let's go curl read. We're going zone dime. I think what we're going to do is run the ball. Do something like this. They got a lot of good bodies on that side we're going to run to. But we're going to go to Scruggs. The clock has stopped. Yeah, great defense. So what is that? Third and six? We can go back. The deep attack. Zone dime. We'll just call the same thing again here. Let the clock run a bit. Might as well. Let's see if he can make a good throw. That last one was just his best throw of the day, probably. Since they're going zone, I'll definitely be throwing this one. It's going to be hard to get a first down if I ran it with him. Gee, what a throw! <laughs> they blitzed from the nickel positions, both of them. Golly! Incredible! Incredible! They're not going to show the throw here. It's a great catch by Grant. Oh my gosh, we got to go back and look at this. Just nasty. So both nickels are coming in the blitz. Just insane. I should have zo I should have walked up a little bit on that one. Just an amazing throw right where it needed to be. Right in stride. Just incredible. I'm trying to get a decent thumbnail. Either way, an amazing play. It keeps the drive alive. We can... Let's do a run play. We're going to do a basic run up the middle. We're going zone dime, so this may work out. And they're doing that. Uh, I'm going to run to my left. I know we got the linebacker. No, I guess he's a corner. Nope, good defense. He came right on through. Where are we? We are still on the left hash. Uh, what we can do is... Let's run the ball some more. This time I'm going to do option. Man 4-3. Who's doing what? They're doing that. I'm assuming the linebackers are on the two slot receivers. We're about to find out. We're going to go back to our left. Just get away from that impact linebacker. And that's what they're doing. Good deal. Get the first down for Petty. Just a great run by him. Keep the drive alive. Keep the clock running. We are back on the left hash. We can go call something simple. We can go back to tunnel screen. I got a right hash play for this one. I just forget to call it. So here's a 4-3 look. We're going to probably just leave. What I can do is make... No, I don't want that impact guy on him. So we're going to leave it as is. We're going to go to Grant or to Larson. I'd love to see him go cover zero. That would be nice. And they're going to. Go to the big guy for six points. Ah, he dropped it. Another drop. Let's go wide receiver curls. We're going zone dime here. What I may do is continue to run the ball so we can go with the off tackle play. That's good defense. Lost yardage. Defensive end came through on that one. 
So what we can do is third and ten. I don't feel the need to have to throw it for a first down. So what I think may be a good idea is to just run the ball. I don't mind kicking a field goal. We're going zone nickel. We can try just to get some decent yards if we can here. We can go back to our left. I don't know if that's going to help or not. First down. Huge. Huge. Great play. Again, I don't have... I got to check my settings on my controller on the emulator so I can slide better. But you really can't slide on a run play anyways. So, first down. The drive is still alive. So, let's go... Let's call halfback angle. We haven't called that in a while. We haven't called that any today, actually. We're going zone 4-3. We should have a simple throw to either Larson or Davis. Let that clock roll. Needless to say, I think we found a quarterback. I think he fits what we're trying to do, and then some. He's throwing the ball really well today. I, that's what surprises me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's great defense. I thought that was going to get picked. Second and six. We can try. Let's do a basic run with Cox. Let's just do something simple here. We're going man 5-2. What we can do, do something like this. Got extra room. Let's see if Cox can get some yards here. The clock is still running. Get down to a couple. Good defense. We're going to get a first down, though. Or we're going to get six points. That is an advantage of getting a big guy. He can fall forward. He can break a tackle. I don't know if you saw what i done there. You go back and look at this. You notice this linebacker right here? I saw that he was on our halfback, so as soon as I went up, he came in right there, and then I went to the outside. So I got him a little caught by his own defender. That gave me just enough time to get around the edge just a little bit. And he pushed us into the end zone. And Cox is just a man-child just running over people. So that is the ball game right there. I do not think they can come back from three scores and beat us. But they still have good enough offense to do something. So the game isn't over. But I feel like we've taken complete command of the game. Complete control. I'm guessing they're going to throw quite a bit going forward. So we can go back do some zones. I'd love to play man against a lot of passing attacks, but there's just too many good man beaters that can destroy us. And this is a very short kick. I hit the button way too early. Ooh, good tackle. That was almost a touchdown. One broken tackle and he would have been gone. So let's do quarters at a 4-3. We're going to do something like this. Oh, good, good catch. I thought I was right there, and I guess I wasn't. They're going to call something goofy here. I dang it, Al. I, I stopped. <laughs> I don't know why I did. So here's a first down. They'll probably go right back to that same play, call the same thing. They're just going to hand it off every time. And we got a flag right there. I don't know if you saw it. You go back and look, it's, yeah, somebody didn't get it back across the line. They're going to decline it. So what I'm going to do, if they're going to go back to that audible every time, we're going to go man two under. At least we can stop the run probably a little bit better with it. And they may actually just run the ball, period. Intercept that. Good hit. Big hit right there. Ooh, and he's hurt too. Didn't want to see that. Zapuer? I assume that's how you say his name. I'm going to just stay back in two men. Just because if they succeed on a play, they'll probably go right back to that run. Not a big fan of that huge shift. Ah. That should have been tipped. Get a flag. Get a flag. Get a flag. Throw the flag. They ain't going to call it. 
I'm gonna do a zone blitz. Let's see what happens if we call a zone blitz. Let's just throw something different at them. I have a feeling they're gonna score here, so let's at least try to throw something different and see how they react. Threw it out of bounds. I guess Murphy got a hand on it. I guess you're gonna give him the credit for it. We can go. I'm gonna do another zone blitz. I'm gonna do something like this. The Golden Bears come out showing three wide. We're gonna see if we can get Neil going. Oh, almost. Good open field tackle by the corner. Now it's third and seven. Uh, what do we call here? Let's uh, I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a monster too. We're gonna throw some weird stuff. There's not a lot of room for them to work with, so we're gonna just try this and see if it works. It may not. Let's see if he throws it quick. I'm going to control Doherty. Fumble. Somehow he coughed it up. I don't know what happened there. And now their quarterback is hurt. It's fourth and 12. It's technically fourth and goal, I guess. We can try Cloud. I don't know how useful it's going to be at this point. There's not a lot of room for them to work with. I'm going to see if I control Neil. Let's do something like this. Sack by Jasmine. One of many. That's his second of the day, I think. So it's 48 seconds. I think the game is over with. So if we can take a knee going forward, there's no point in calling any plays. I don't think they will call a timeout. And we'll do this a couple more times and end this thing. Now, this is going to hurt his run average. <laughs> Going to the victory formation a couple times, but that's okay. We won. That's all that matters. So this was a great win to start the season against a really solid team, really talented team. But we just had complete control of the entire thing. We can look at the box score here in a little bit. 31 to 10. I'll take that any day of the week. Now we got an even bigger game coming up. Oh, it's the Kansas State game. That's still going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to play them. And that's it. 21-point victory. That should help us in the rankings just a little, you would think. Big Troy Petty. That is as good as a first game as you could ask for from a quarterback. I'm really anxious to check out his overall scores here. He, I assume he won the MVP of the game. Let's go to Stanton scores. 474 yards, our offense. And look at this. It's the running attack. I think it's really what's going to separate us this year. We ran the ball a whole lot more today than we ever did because we got a quarterback that could run a little bit. And we added in some basic audibles to kind of get things going to find good advantages in the box no sack six of seven from the third from third down a couple of those big third down passes by troy petty was incredible to grant the kid's gonna be a stud for us we had the one turnover by davis davis had an off and on day it was either a huge play negatively or a huge play positively the rest of that doesn't say a whole lot to me. Let's go to the individual stats. So Petty ended up with 364 yards through the air, two touchdowns and no picks. Then you go to rushing. He ended up with 75 yards. So 75 plus 364, that gives you, you know, 440 yards almost. Just an incredible game by him. I mean, that's as good as a first game as I could ever have from a true freshman quarterback. So we ran the ball fairly well efficiently when we needed to receiving davis ended up having the best stat line kind of sort of but technically not it was tim grant with 110 yards and one touchdown larson had a big day glover had i thought he played really well he got a touchdown rackley had the one big catch that's just the way it worked out we was able to get to him once we can look at defensively matt neal this is the guy who i controlled most of the day now i'm not going to take credit for all six of those tackles but he had a great day Tackles for loss. I'll take a couple of, uh, that's on me right there on at least a couple of those tackles for losses. So it's good to see him off the edge. Same with Jasmine. You look at the rest here. Jasmine had two tackles for loss. If you're going to have, if you're going to see this right here, 
Look at all these tackle for losses. If you can get a bunch of these, you're going to have a pretty good defense. You look at the sacks. Two for Jasmine and one for Illamimian. If we can get two to three sacks a game from this squad, we're going to be all right. And let's check out the box score. It was just a steady barrage of points for us. The first quarter, it was tight. Then we was able to get a one-score lead headed in the half. And then the second half, we just slowly just added more points. And our defense kept getting better over the course of the game. Look at that. Seven, three, zero, and zero. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let's check out some scores from this week in the top 25. Of course, we beat Cal. Oklahoma got beat by Ohio State in a top 25 matchup. Florida State over Michigan State. NC State beat Kansas State, who we're going to play in the next game. Then you have the next group of games. You got Toledo upset Purdue. My beloved Vols beat Marshall. Texas A&M over Air Force. Georgia over North Carolina. Then you have Notre Dame over Rice, Nebraska over Louisiana Tech, Virginia over Washington, Texas over Memphis. Then you got Colorado over Colorado State, Miami beat Central Florida, Texas Tech over Maryland, Iowa over Wake Forest. And then last but not least, number one Florida beat South Florida and Penn State beat Eastern Michigan 44 to 14. So in our next game, we can go and see, and we will take on the Kansas State Wildcats. It's been a while since I played this team. It's been forever since I played in that stadium. They got a really good stadium. I like it a lot. They got me in their first game, so I don't know what to really make of that. We'll just see when we play that game itself. But looking at their stats, look like their defense was okay. But it's hard to take anything off of that one game. So come on back. We'll take on Kansas State, and I'll talk to you later.